What's up boys? In today's video, we're going to take a look at double bend rear links and we're going to do a little testing in the testing facility. This will be my first video showcasing the testing facility. The testing facility is a table with rocks on it. I can move the rocks around and the purpose is to test products and give you a very simple view and explanation of what different products do and what changing certain parts do. Your typical rear link from Injora or wherever looks like this. Single bend. Today we're looking at double bend. That means there's two bends. These are the double bend links that I got. Rear Gladiator. Actually the first thing I saw First thing I noticed when I saw these, it reminds me of a steering link. So you might be able to even use steering links as double bend links. These came from Clapped 24s on Instagram. I've never dealt with double bend links before. Let's get them installed and go from there. So there's one side installed. It is going to hit my upper link right here. So if you get these, you want to make sure you have the adjustable points for the upper link. So I can raise that and it'll be fine. I'll check back in when I got this all sorted out. If I can figure out how to add text on the video, in the video, I'm just going to do the same rock. One clip with single bend, and then the next clip right after that with double bend. And I'll add text, letting you know what the bend situation is. Welcome to the Yep testing facility. So basically I'm just going to try and organize like spot here, spot here, spot here where the rear links get caught up and then I'm going to switch the links and try the same lines. Okay, first test line goes up through here and it seems to get caught right here. So let's do it with the single bend links. Okay, another one we were able to do. Oh my God. I'll be right back. Sorry about that, we're back. So right at this point, it was getting caught up on the other links. And it gives it just enough. Here's a better look at 
clearance. So before the old ones just kind of come straight right at this point. Once again, getting caught on the links. This one might not be a good test. I think it's too steep. Yeah. So it does actually pass where it was getting caught at before. It's just not a good rock, I think. There we go. So at this point, it's on the links, and it struggles here. I think I can still get up there. Final thoughts. They seem very good. There's a couple of things I don't like. I guess the first thing I isn't that I don't like it, it's just something you need to be aware of. If you're going to do double bend rears, you have to reposition the upper rears because they'll hit. They hit right here where that bend is. <clears throat> so you need more adjustment points up front here for the rear to lift it. My drive shaft seems to hang down a tiny bit lower than the links. So I'm expecting that to... Well, maybe it doesn't. It's super close. I don't know how that's going to affect things yet. I haven't used it enough. Other things. Something I dislike. This isn't all double bends. This is just specific to Clap 24, the guy that made them. The pivot balls, the little holes in them, are too big. They're completely usable and they work, but if you see the play there, this one's fine because I tightened it enough to smash it, which I really don't like doing. Um, so I just need to tighten this side more and it'll be fine. And then also the front, it doesn't want to smash itself. So with the play there, they want to move up and down some. So when they move up the pivot, the plastic part, um, what was that noise? What was I saying? These can move. I don't like that. It's still, like I said, still completely usable. I still like them. If you push them, they kind of suck down in more, but they don't seem to want to stay there. <clears throat> Overall, I would recommend these. Gave me some extra clearance right here. Keep in mind, I know nothing about link geometry or really anything at all about setting up these trucks. It seems like it works. It seems like it made it better. 
And because of that, I like it. A couple other guys that make links. RC Steve 710. Underscore 828RC underscore. He has colorful ones. Steve has brass and aluminum and probably whatever else you want. They're on Instagram. These came from Clap24. I'm pretty sure he just took an existing one and threw it in a vise or a pipe branch and bent it because there's little vise teeth mark on them, which I don't care about, whatever. They work. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this helps somebody. Peace!